for anyone out there who is looking for a real relationship, you should prize meeting someone. I'm not saying go into every first date asking what are you looking for. But I really? am... Really? You wouldn't? I think I... Just naturally, well, I think can, I would have. Well, you can actually say that everything's tone. Yeah. If you can say it in a very conversational way, like, you know, how's your experience on the apps? I don't know what you're looking for. Like, are you... Are you, are you someone who's on the apps because you're you're excited about meeting someone special or are right. you just having fun? Like yeah. it, you almost when you're throwing out a serious question, you don't have to say it in a really serious way. Mm -hmm. You can ask a serious question in a casual way. Sometimes that's even nice from the point of view of I I want you to answer honestly, so I actually want you to be relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I want you to not feel like there's pressure in your answer. I don't maybe I don't even necessarily want you to know that there's a right answer right now. Mm -hmm. I just want you to talk to me. Just tell me about yourself. So it's, it's not, I don't think you can't ask. I'm just, you know, it's not about, you don't have to put someone on interrogation sure. in that first date. But I do think that we should be looking for someone that we know is actually open to a real relationship. And anyone else, it's a waste of time. Mm. But Matt, I met someone and they weren't ready and blah 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 and now they are and we're together and whatever good for you that's great that's you're the exception because for mm -hmm. every one of you i can list 20 people who staked their time and their lives on someone changing and that person didn't change mm -hmm. now there's lots of nuance in this if someone tells you i'm not sure i'm ready then you, you have to do some calculations. You have to say, okay, I like this person. They're saying they're not sure I'm ready. That's an immediate giant red flag. It's not them saying, by the way, I'm not sure I know you well enough yet. That's fine. <laughs> That's That's, let's get to know each other better then. Yeah. If they're saying, I'm not sure I'm ready for a relationship, that is a giant red flag. They are telling you today, I am going to hurt you. In case you didn't hear, I am going to hurt you. They're telling you to your face that you are going to get your heart broken here. So you have to make a decision with that. Do I want to continue to invest in someone who says they're not sure they're ready for a relationship? Mm. Do you really want to do that? Now you may say if you're 25 and you're like, well, whatever. Yeah. Then I'm just going to have fun and we'll see where this goes. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging that. Right. But if you find yourself at a stage in your life where you, you know you are ready for something real and you're excited about that and you've got someone in front of you who isn't just assessing whether you're right for them, but is assessing whether a relationship is even exciting to them, why get into that situation? Why bother? Why spend the time? It, it's... It's like someone on the street. It's hard enough to sell someone a car who wants a car because <laughs> they have options, right? You want a car while well, I'm in the Honda dealership. I'm trying to convince you that you want a Honda. Don't go to Ford. Hondas are great. This is going to last you forever and it's safe. And I'm going to take <laughs> like, I'm, don't go to, I, that's a hard enough job as it is. I'm already competing with every other car manufacturer in the world. And I'm not just competing with those, I'm competing with all the other dealers. <laughs> right. I, the I need cost. my commission, <laughs> exactly. But imagine walking up to someone on the street and trying to sell them a car when they don't even want a car. Mm. You're trying to sell them a Honda and they're going, but I don't want to drive. Mm. I'm not sure I even want to drive. I really like my bike. All your work is ahead of you just to get them to want a car. Now you've got to convince them to want a Honda. And even that word that you said as well, by the way, convince, even that I would repeat to myself because I don't like how that would make me feel. <clears throat> if someone's with me, they should be with me because they want to, not because I've convinced them. Yeah. And even just that, even if I get the end goal of being with them, the path itself to get there is like, night or day it's like if they got there on their own amazing like tom but if i had to convince oh them and give them God. every reason why they should be with me and they finally do i'm never going to be secure there's always going to be sure. that complete insecureness a relationship's hard enough when you're excited about right that. yes when you want one it's hard enough mm. and the journey of going from 
being more excited about being single or not just wanting the hassle of a relationship and, and enjoying being your own. The journey of that to, I'm really open to a relationship. That's something that feels right to me in my life now. That's not an easy shift. That takes time and it takes growth and it takes having lived a little and having explored things and realized what it is you really want in life. It's not, that's not like a, a, a quick little, I woke up this morning and wanted a relationship. Mm. It's a shift in the way that I'm thinking about life and what's fulfilling in mm -hmm. life. You really want to take on the role of making that shift for someone else. And you want to stake your time on that. Love isn't enough. It's not. Compatibility is crucial. Love isn't enough. You need compatibility too. And people throw away their lives on this notion of loving someone so much. I just love them so much I couldn't let them go. And they were willing to, to sacrifice their life, their happiness, their soul, eroding their confidence in the process because when you're not true to yourself and you're not making yourself happy and your needs aren't being met, you start to hate yourself, you resent yourself and you, and you loathe yourself even more because you can't walk away and now that makes you feel like you're not strong. Eroding your sense of joy in life, praying, hoping that one day your needs will be met. You are in a relationship with the person you are with today, period. That that's who you're in a relationship with. And that's, assume that the relationship you're in right now is the relationship you're going to be in forever. And if that's not tenable for you, get out. Mm -hmm. Leave that relationship. The relationship will change and evolve. Sure, all relationships do. Esther Perel said, some people have multiple partners or have multiple relationships in their lives. Other people have multiple relationships. It's just with the same person, mm -hmm. right? And that's true. We're all, even if we're with the same person, we're going to have many different relationships with that person. But assuming that the relationship that evolves is going to fit the template that you want for somebody else, that's fantasy. Jacob M. Broad said, consider how hard it is to change yourself and you'll realize how foolish it is to expect that you can change somebody else. We wake up in January and most of us want to go to the gym. Most of us want to lose a few pounds. Most of us want to get in better shape. And three weeks later, we're eating pizza and doing the same things we've always done, right? That's how hard it is to change. It's hard to change when we want to change more than anything in the world. It's hard to quit smoking when you know you're going to die from smoking. So what makes, what's this arrogance that we think that we're powerful enough to make someone quit smoking who doesn't even want to quit? that we're powerful enough to make someone want a, want a relationship who doesn't even want a relationship. It's not that it, there's never a chance that it could go in your favor. It's that you would be a fool to stake your time on the idea that it will go in your favor. And life is so painfully, painfully short. How much time do we have? You'll never, you're 33, you'll never get 33 back again. You get to be 33 once. The decade of your 40s, you get to do it once. You don't get to come back and do your 40s again. Time is so short. And there are people I love in, in this lifetime more than anything who, who, who I wish I could have got to sooner and given them this information sooner. I'm so, pa I say this so forcefully because there's someone watching this interview right now whose life can actually be saved by hearing this right now instead of not hearing it. That's why I do what I do. I'm sure it's why you do what you do. You know in your heart that if you can be a new piece of input at the right moment in someone's life, that they just, someone's watching this right now, they just chose to watch this YouTube video. They didn't know you or they didn't know me. They're just like, they like the title and they watch this YouTube video. But because they watched it, this will change the course of their life because they won't lie to themselves anymore. They've been in this situation with this guy who's been giving them the same line for five years about, eh, I don't really know what I want, but she stays anyway because she loves him so much. Well, this might be the moment where she watches this video and goes, fuck this. This is not... I." I'm never again going to stake my life on the idea that this is going to change. Let me find someone who has the same outlook as me, who has the same goals as me. That's why I do what I do, because you can, you can save someone's life by getting them the right message in the right moment. 
but people need to hear it. And to hear it, they need to know just how high the stakes actually are. There are things that, that are life and death decisions, not because making the wrong decision will literally kill you, but because it will be the, the death of the rest of your time in this world. It will be the death of your happiness. It will be the death of your soul. It will be the death of your confidence. And, and then what is life? What's the, what kind of life are we living? If the next 30 years play out with me being unhappy and me not having my needs met, I'm so afraid to leave. Well, be afraid of staying because what kind of life are you going to have if you stay? The, 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 the pain that you're in right now, you're going to feel pain either way. Leave or stay, you'll feel pain. You know, you'll feel pain if you leave. You will. You will. It's not you're going to leave and you're going to feel like you've done the wrong thing and you're going to be lonely and you're going to feel like you're never going to meet anyone again and you're going to be heartbroken. You're going to question yourself. You're going to doubt yourself. All of that is true. But you have all this pain staying here anyway. So at least have the pain that's a question mark. This pain is a period. It's not a question mark. At least leaving means possibility. Promise, hope, something different. My God. Be honest with yourself about how miserable something's actually making you. Whilst you're being honest about how much you love someone, about how much you, you know, it's hard to let go, about how much you really care about them, be honest with yourself about how miserable you are too, because that's the part where people lie to themselves. And they lie to their friends and they put on a brave face. How's it going? Oh, it's good, you know. Yeah, everything's going okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And they're miserable and they're anxious and they're depressed. Don't lie to yourself about that. Fine, give the relationship the honest try. Tell someone what you need. Tell someone what you want it to be. Give your all. See if it can be that. But stop lying to yourself if every time you turn the page, it's the same page of writing. There are some major red flags, guys, in a man that you can never ignore. So click here right now to find out what they are. Being vulnerable isn't me telling you the same insecurity 10 times a day. That's not <laughs> vulnerability, that's dumping. I'm making you responsible for, for my emotional state every time.